Welcome back to Educator.com. This lesson is on forces. A force is uh, defined as a push or a pull. A push or a pull. Um, a force has direction and magnitude. And then the formula is force equals mass times acceleration. So let's get into this a little bit. Force is measured in newtons. Okay, they actually kind of made up this uh, unit for force and named it after Sir Isaac Newton, who had a lot to do with uh, forces and, and some, some rules of forces we'll get into a little bit. Mass is measured in kilograms, and acceleration is in meters per second squared. Okay? So a newton is equal to a kilogram times meter per second squared, which is a lot to say, so I'm glad that they came up with this uh, unit of newtons. It's a lot easier. Okay, the magnitude is however many newtons it has. So if something's pushing with a force of five newtons, that's the magnitude. But for forces, you also have to include direction. So you need to say what direction that force is pushing or pulling in. So maybe this is five newtons, uh, straight down. Okay. As long as you give it some type of direction, it could be north, south, east, west, or it just could be like down or up or wherever it's going. Okay. Just try and be as specific as possible. All right. So net forces. Net force is the overall uh, sum of forces on an object. So if you look at an object, you just try and take into account everything that might um, have a force on that object. So if I had like a little box just sitting there on the ground, I take a look at my net forces. Well, I have the force of that object on the ground, and I have the force of the ground uh, pushing up on the object. I'm sorry, the force of gravity pulling that box towards the ground and then the ground pushing back on that. So the net force of something that doesn't move is going to be zero. These are going to cancel each other out, so my net force will be zero newtons. So the net force, um, the overall sum of forces on an object, of a non-moving object, the net force is zero. Net force of an object at rest equals zero newtons. Okay, so that takes us to balanced forces. If an object has balanced forces upon it, it's not changing its motion in any way. Okay, so balanced forces means the net force is zero. And the object's motion is not changing. Okay. Now, I said the object's motion is not changing because if an object is moving along at four meters per second, so it's going at a constant speed, it's actually considered to have a balanced force upon it. So if this box on wheels is moving along four meters per second squared and it doesn't change its speed, it's not accelerating in any way, no, it's not changing speed, not changing direction, the motion is not changing and the forces on it are actually balanced. Well, in our world, we have friction, which we're going to talk about, and that slows an object down. So really that doesn't happen too often. But if you're looking at net force is zero, something stationary is really going to be the thing that has a balanced forces on it. So let's take a look at unbalanced forces. This is when an object's motion does change. Okay, so when there's unbalanced forces, the motion changes, and it changes in the direction that the strongest force is pushing. That the stronger force pushes. Or pulls. 
because the force is a push or a pull. All right, so let's take a look down below. I have two forces side by side here. They're both going in the same direction. So since they're both going in the same direction, to find the net force, what you need to do is go ahead and add them up. And since they're going in the same direction, we keep that direction. So we have five newtons plus five newtons. So the net force on this object that has these two forces pushing upon it will be uh, 10 newtons to the right. Okay, so we have to include the magnitude and the direction in order to give the proper force. So since it's moving 10 newtons to the right, this is an unbalanced force since the object's motion is changing. Okay, so this one's unbalanced. It's, it's going to be moving. Now, down below here, we have 10 newtons to the right, 5 newtons to the left. So since these forces are going in opposite directions, they're partially going to cancel each other out. But 10 newtons is greater than 5 newtons, so this time you need to subtract. Before you add them together if they're going in the same direction, you subtract if they're going in opposite directions. So this one's a minus. 10 minus 5 is 5 newtons. <laughs> and since the stronger force is pushing to the right, that's the final direction of uh, the forces. Uh, the net force is 5 newtons to the right. So let's make sure we write this out better. Okay. If the forces are in the same direction, if they're working together, you add them up. are added. Forces acting in opposite directions, forces acting against one another, are subtracted. Okay, now we have another one, another example of forces working in opposite to one another, against each other. But in this case, it's 5 minus 5. The forces are the same magnitude. So our net force is 0 newtons. So over here at the end, we have a net force of 0. So the whatever these object, these forces are working on, they're going to have, uh, they're, we call them a balanced force. It's not going to be moving that object in any way.